CJ Thinker, welcome. Today we are back with our Grow Your Library series. In this series, we show how to create your own resources. Why? Because buying pre-made packages to speed up your work when you start in Blender isn't the right path from a long-term perspective. You will avoid to learn useful basics that you need to know when you will face more complex situations and then you will be stuck and forced to learn those basics. There is nothing like taking control of Blender tools and add-ons. Yes, it requires a little work and practice, but it's definitely worth the investment. In addition, you will be able to create exactly what you want, what you imagine, and not what only something what is available in the package that you bought. With this in mind, Let's do this together and take the advantage of the confinement to improve your knowledge in order to create your own stuff and expand your library smart and inexpensive way. We are going to make seven models, seven head of boards, uh, six with Fluent, and the last one will be made without any add-on, just a pure Blender modelization. Let's get started. Grow together. Call the creation function and right click on the ground to display the grid. And now we want to make a solid of revolution. For that, use the shape and the revolver mode. Just draw a square and use the right click to validate your drawing. And yes, we have that. First adjustment, outer beaver like that. Okay for me. Second adjustment, we will change the first beaver and press X to deactivate every vertices and X again on this vertex to adjust only it. Okay. Like that. Yeah, it's okay for me. Maybe a little more. Okay. And make your cut. Right click, and use the circle. Click and click here, okay. Change the resolution to six. Maybe decrease a little bit the radius and I have the first version. Uh, but I can see I have an edge here. Mm, and obviously we are going to remove it. Select the object, wireframe, edit mode, and remove the edge. X, edge. It's perfect. Now, before to save my object, I will apply every modifier. I will use the autocomplete function. Autocomplete, make a copy of your object and apply each modifiers on your copy. And like that. Okay. A good habit before to export is to apply all transforms. And now I will save this object in my library. To make your library, you have two solutions. One, you can just save your Blender file and use the append function in other scene to reuse and call your object. The other solution is to use an add-on. In my case, to make my own library, I use Asset Management. It's just a powerful add-on. In few clicks, maybe just one click, <laughs> you can save your model, save your material, reuse it when you want in any new scene. With this add-on, you will make more and more complex model and more and more faster. You don't search where is your model, you don't remake something you already made before. No, you work one time and you reuse it when you want, when you need it. So how it works? Just press N to display the panel. In Asset Management, AM, I have my library, CG Thoughts. Make. I made this library just for you, for this series of video, and I will add new category. Bolts. Okay. And this, in this folder, I will add this object. It's bolts. Bolt one. 
I want a cycles render. I don't want back any textures and just click on export. Bada! Magic, you have your object saved here with an automatic preview. Go to the next model. I remove this object and show again the non-destructive version of my object. For the second, I will just change the cut, edit and go to resolution and change it to triangle. As you can see, we have a problem here and you will discover the magic of Blender. Just move a little bit your boolean and Blender will refresh your mesh air Z and just move a little bit. And as you can see, Blender recalculate each edges and the problem disappear. And we have the next model. One more time, press F, auto complete, apply all transform and add it to the library. Second, continue with the next model. I display, I display the non-destructive version. I change it, edit, resolution, and I come back to 30, 30, 32, like that. Change the resolution and use the circular array. With the circular array, press C to change, to swap between the number of segment setting and the radius setting. I will use three repetition, change maybe like that. Okay. Mm. Yes, it's okay for me. Press F, autocomplete, apply transform and add it. Bolt three. As you can see, the non-destructive workflow is a very powerful way to work because you can easily make few variations, save it, make few variations, save it, and you can grow your library very fast. Remove it, display, and this time I will just change the main shape. Press F, edit, change the first bevel, X to select this bevel, and press C to change the profile, and this time, I will use mm, OK, nice for me. And I export this version. Autocomplete, all transform, and bolt 04, export. OK, for the next, uh, I will just remake the same cut than the previous, so I will, maybe I will accelerate this video. Yes, it's done. We have six bolts. Now we will make the last one. And this time we don't use any add-on, no fluent or other add-on. Just pure Blender modelization. Let's go. Cube, Control 4. Control 4 will add a subdivision modifier. On your cube, uh, you can see this, okay, subdivision and apply it. Go to edit mode, select everything and call the sphere to sphere function and press one or on your keyboard like that. And now we have a perfect, perfect sphere. Uh, I place my view in front and I use the edit mode to remove the butt side of my sphere. X vertices. 
Uh, I change the center of rotation to 3D cursor. I select everything and press S, Z to make uh, a scale, scale down like that. Okay. I am back to front view. I select the last loop, edge loop with Alt, you hold Alt key and click on it. Press E for make a, an extrusion. Z, okay. E again for an extrusion and S to make a scale. And this time you can type zero on your keyboard. And to close this mesh, I need to merge all vertices, all selected vertices. Merge by distance. Boom. And here you can. The next step is on the top view. I select, I will select faces to make a cross. One, two, three, four, six, seven. 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 Yes, I have my cross. I will press E to extrude and press S Z zero to make a flat, a flat, uh, a flat cross and replace it here. Okay. Nice. And I'm back in object mode. It's a good start. I will activate shade smooth and to improve the render I will I go to activate auto smooth in normal and we are close to the goal the next step is to add a bevel on these on those sharp edges and I will make this with a modifiers a modifier bevel modifier I will display the wireframe. I display wireframe to see what's uh, happening with the bevel modifier. And so I set four for the segment and I can see bevel is applied on each edges of my mesh, but I don't want that. I just want bevel on sharp edges. Set the uh, limit method to angle. And yes, this is what I want. Bevel only on sharp edges. Uh, I will change the outer for arc. It's uh, this arc give better topology. Uh, and then change the offset. Adjust the offset like you want. Mm, it's it's good for me. Point zero two. Yes. I will, okay, I add the wireframe and if you check the corner, we have some artifact here. To, to fix it, add a weighted normal modifiers. Modifier, R. Modifiers, no, modifier. The weighted normal modifier. Uh, yes, and everything is good. The model is finished, so one more time, we will apply everything, but I will don't use Fluent this time. Press F3 and search Convert. And use Convert to Mesh. And yes, the modifier stack is empty because they are applied on the mesh. Yes. Call asset management and add this last one bolt zero seven export. And yes, we have seven model in few minutes. Now you can reuse it to make model with more detail. Just a fast and quick example.
I really hope you will start your own library. It's very important to improve your skill, to improve your knowledge, and you will see your model will become more complex as faster as you think. If you want to use asset management, you can find links uh, in the description to find these tools. If you don't want to miss the next episode and next video of this channel, don't forget to subscribe. See you soon and don't forget, we get tired of everything except learning. Bye bye.